We're back with today's consumer. Technology is moving so fast. We're seeing innovations and breakthroughs every day that impact our lives. Yeah, NBC's tech correspondent Jacob Ward is here with a closer look at advances that are going to change the way we move through the world. So, Jacob, a lot of these terms we've heard before, but sure. we may not completely understand them. And one of them is... AI, artificial intelligence. So artificial intelligence, right, is the, this sort of pattern recognition system now that is doing the kind of work that humans could never do. As you know, I wrote a book about this this year, and it basically, in it, I was describing all of the different parts of our lives that AI can invade in a way and improve in many ways. And, you know, one of those, for instance, is just being able to communicate over the phone in the way that we used to, right? You'd wait on hold forever, yeah. and then eventually someone can answer a simple question. Well, today, it turns out that AI can do all of, you know, probably 90% of what your average person is calling up to do. If you're calling to make airline reservations, if you're calling yeah. to question a Is this where I'm talking finance, to, like, right? Julie from Amtrak? That's right. And yeah, what's okay. crazy, right, is that more and more we're getting to the point, there used to be a, a, a thing called the Turing test that was a test for robotics where you're trying to figure out, can a human be fooled by a robot into mm. thinking it's a mm -hmm. human? Today, you know, that was a, an impossibility once upon a time. Today, it's happening every day, thousands of times. Yeah, I believe Julie from Amtrak I is thought, real. <laughs> she sounds she's, to me like she's happening you know. all the time. I'm constantly yeah. like, hello? Yeah. Yeah, no, I, I, oh, wait, hello, oh, wait, Julie. Wait, 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 wait. Yeah. All right. Let's talk about machine vision. I mean, we uh, yeah. see how computers have the ability yeah. to read expressions. Yeah. We can right. open mm -hmm. our phones with our faces. We see the fun on TikTok yes. with filters and all that. Where is this headed? So, you know, for me, I, I you know, I, I look at this stuff for a living and still I lost probably months <laughs> <laughs> pandemic to TikTok. And one of the big ones are these filters. Yeah. That is, uh, you basically slap them on uh, live footage and it shows you either someone looking very, very alarmed or it's, really, really sad. It's and it's, you know, creepy. They are creepy, creepy, big time. But they're also pretty hilarious. And what's amazing about them, the thing that's coming up is what they're also doing is they are basically teaching these systems about our emotions in a way that down the line, you know, you're going to have computers cracking jokes yeah. at you or telling, you know, heartrending uh -huh. stories in a way that's going to, I think, you know, really get into our hearts in ways that computers have not been able to do. A long, long time ago, the Jetsons was like uh -huh. the coolest. You touched a button, things came out, yep. you wanted a sandwich, you said it. I mean, if cars fly around how close are we to anything that that's like that well what's amazing right now is that you have robotics that are really starting to step into our lives in the way that the jetsons predicted right rosie yeah. back then was rosie to, i was rosie. like roberta yeah, yeah. rosie, saying, rosie what was, was supposed name? to be you know the all-in-one helper yeah. and yeah. we are getting closer and closer to that at this point it is cheapest still to build robots that can do individual things but the things that they can do are things we could never have imagined before so there are robots right now where you attach them to a window it'll clean the window for you far better than you could ever do yourself. Oh. There are robots you can now turn loose. There's a fifteen hundred dollar robot you can turn loose in your lawn. It'll mow it for you. Wow! And that is because these computers are so good at identifying everything in our lives. They see our world so much better than they used to. And so you're going to see cheaper and cheaper ways to do things that you had to do. Before. And finally, we have quantum computing, to which we say, huh? <laughs> yeah, I know, I know, I know. This is the like the tech correspondent's nightmare is is explaining quantum computing. Yeah, and you only have thirty seconds. So think about it this way: basically, computers right now have a speed limit. They move too slow for some of the biggest things we would want to do with them, like really predict the weather and how it's going to do. You know, Al Roker does a great job, but computers are trying to also do his job. Mm. Quantum computing is the kind of thing that's going to create such an exponentially faster way to do computing that we'll be able to know down to the second what mm. the weather is going to do. You know, and what you and I are going to do in the future. That's mm -hmm. coming. Wow, Jake, that's fine. Thank, Thank you. you. Hey, thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Find your favorite recipes, celebrity interviews, uplifting stories, shop our favorite deals, and so much more with the Today app. Download it now.